Hi everyone, um, my name is David and I have recently bought a Marmot Tungsten one person tent and uh, seeing as we're currently on lockdown, well nearly on lockdown and social distancing and everything, I thought I would uh, go ahead and set it up in the spare room that I have here um, just to see what it was like, see how easy it is to set up and uh, basically to give myself something to do on a, on a Sunday afternoon. Um, I had taken this out of the packet once and had a look at it to make sure all of the pieces were there. Uh, it looked like they were all there. So I'm going to do my best to take this apart or take it out and set it up. It's quite a lot smaller than my, than my previous tent. Um, I had a Teton or Tenton uh, two-person tent that I got in Port Alberni at a uh, outdoor rental place that was shutting down so it was a little bit cheaper than Amazon would have been um, although the guy was selling it for like 200 bucks we got it for 112 so um, this was I think 200 something um, I bought it from an online company whose name I can't remember right now um, they're over in Thunder Bay I think and um, it was discounted, they were doing a huge sell-off of their 2019 stuff, I guess, to make way for their uh, 2020. So I thought, why not? Um, it is light as well, so it's gonna be good for solo uh, if I'm going out by myself. Um, and it looks pretty cool. So poles, uh, this is guy lines and uh, stakes. So I don't need the stakes here, or my landlord will get pretty mad. Um, let's see, it does have a footprint, and the uh, tags are color-coded uh, for the tent, which is pretty neat. So I am going to set this out and uh, do my best to set it up. I'm also going to do my best to get it so it's in the shot as well. This is the first time for me uh, playing around on camera too, so uh, this is a pretty small footprint, in fact, uh, yeah, we'll see how much space there actually is in this uh, when it's set up, yeah, looks pretty interesting. So. Uh, Rainfly. Again, these are these are color coded. I don't remember. They, these are color coded. Um, red to red and things. I think. So we'll just get that out of the way, and I'm trying to figure this part out right now. That's for the fly. So it doesn't look like, well I think the only way you would set this out, you'd have to peg it out by the look of things. So there are these little red parts, I am assuming they match up because it kind of seems like it would make sense. So. I'm lining them up. Looks like the door is on this side. So uh, let's have a look. I'm actually gonna turn the whole thing around because the windows are right behind where the camera is. So I wanna have light. Uh, I'm thinking about sleeping in here tonight. So I wanna have light for when I wake up in the morning because um, hopefully, That'll help drag my lazy ass out of bed. Okay. So we've got the tent poles. And these look relatively straightforward. Although now I've said that, most likely 
going to get this wrong and anyone who watches the video uh, will see that happen so that will be great. So that's it up without the rain fly. Again, just to compare, the footprint was a little smaller, although, yeah, looks good. We'll see what it's like with me inside. But first, let's get the fly on. That looks like a door. So I'm guessing something like this. So it feels like there are uh, Velcro, there are indeed uh, Velcro parts inside to secure the fly to the, um, the mesh inner. So I'm just gonna open up my door. So in real life, these, would be, these doors would be pinned, pinned, staked, oh my God. First time camping, but so these would be staked out to create a pretty decent vestibule by the look of things. So um, let's find the here we go. What is our project? And I'm just putting um, that's a wonderful angle. I'm just putting a couple of these on just to hold it in place, give me a bit more of an idea of. Uh, Kind of how it sits and everything. And there we go. Nice and tight. So this, I'm guessing we would just stake out this one here, and then this would be open, so that would be constantly covered, and this would be my door. Which makes sense because this here is the door part of the inside. So that makes perfect sense, really. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll both of these up so we can see inside. So let's get these rolled up. A little, little bit of tension. And then we can roll this up to So that is my mom at Tungsten one person tent set up. Um, like I said, bits that, are, bits that are missing, we have in here, just open this up, but we've got the, uh, the stakes for pegging it out. 
and some guy lines too. So we have some. Well, I don't know what they're made of, but uh, relatively light. And they're hexagonal, kind of copper coloured stakes. I've never come across these before, but they look, mm, they look pretty good. Um, beautiful, bright green guy ropes to avoid people tripping over them. There is a snorting tube for when you have to uh, snort while you're out camping. But I think it is most likely a vent hole supporty thing using my official tent lingo. Here we go, up at the top. Who knows? I read the instructions and try and figure out what it actually is. Let's have a look. Uh, it doesn't say, so it might be a tent pole. Uh, if one of the poles breaks, you put this over the broken part of the pole. And uh, yeah, I guess it gets you through until you can get it repaired. So stakes, guy lines, the little ties. Huh, that looks pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my uh, sleep pad, uh, ooh, and my pillow, my sleep pad and my pillow, and my sleeping bag, put it inside, and set it up, and see how it goes. So, I will be back in a minute. So here we go. So, I have two, uh, well, I actually have three different sleep pads, but the first one I got was the uh, Thermarest z Light. It's super light, um, super warm. I, I've never really taken it out in the cold, but I've never really got cold. Um, and even though I now have a uh, Thermarest uh, trail light, I do like to use this underneath just to give a little extra protection. That being said, I'm in my spare room, so it shouldn't really be needed. Uh, but have it at hey. So, we'll lay these out in there. And then this one, the Thermarest, is gonna go in two. Just, I'm actually planning on sleeping on this, or uh, in this, tonight. So, um, this is my little camp out. Um, I think I'll put my head at this end behind me. So we'll feed this in that way. And yeah, there's decent room, I guess. Or oh, this is all making it look like there's decent room. Um, so sleeping bag, this is a Mountain Warehouse Extreme. Um, I bought this when I was in the UK in November. Um, honestly, I can't remember how much it was. I think maybe 50, 40, 40, 50 quid. So probably just under about 100 bucks, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I'll have that to get nice and cozy. And then I have a couple of, uh, couple of different pillows. So um, this one is the E... E-N-O, I think. Um, it's kind of difficult to read the logo. Is it an E, A, is it an M, is it an O, N, whatever. So this one I've used, I've used before. Um, I've had it for a while. It's pretty big, it's, pretty, it's kind of hefty. Um, uh, I'm not sure how much of a fan of it I am. Um, I've never really particularly got great sleep when I've been out um, backpacking or camping or whatever. Um, so, yeah, it's got some uh, padding, I guess, some foam padding inside um, to make it a little bit more comfy. This is obviously the underside. This is a this is a little softer, I guess. Not the easiest thing to blow up unless I'm being a little bit special.
Anyway, I'm gonna leave that for a minute, let it self-inflate. Now, a while ago on YouTube, uh, I saw someone do a pillow review. I think it might have been, uh, it wasn't Backcountry Exposure, who was it? It was one of the guys, one of the guys I follow on YouTube. I'll try and figure it out. Um, so anyway, I saw this Climate X and I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, and it was on a discount on Backcountry. I think I got it from Backcountry. I got this, I got a cork, I got two cork trichology massage balls kind of thing. Um, and I also got a C-knock water bladder, which is like this. It's almost like the top's like a zip tie um, and it's a water bladder, so it's very quick to fill up. Um, so I haven't actually used this, but you can see this is pretty, like, this is pretty big. Oh, what a wonderful double chin. Okay. This is much easier to blow up. Get a little bit of squidge in there. That's nice. So this is uh, so you can rest the lump on the back of your head in there. It's pretty neat. It's pretty soft, actually. Um, I guess they feel kind of similar. So more traditional pillow shaped. Yes, this is the ENO one. And then the Climate X has an X in it. So I'm gonna test these out later. I'm probably gonna bring some other bits and pieces in here um, just to make it feel a little bit more campy, uh, like, I'm, uh, like I'm camping out. Uh, but so you've got a bit of an idea. Here we go. So let's have a look in the tent. So. There's some decent, decent room in here. I guess I don't know. I'll uh, try and uh, bring this in so you can see when I'm in here. In fact, let's just get in here now. Let's do it. Let's get it. So, we'll get a pillow. There we go. So, laying in here as I am, I've got my toes are just touching the end there we go but if they're I guess upright then I'm gonna hit that and then with me with my head I got a little bit of space I mean it's very roomy up top I can definitely sit up in here like if I was in the middle as opposed to the door I'd definitely have room um, but here that's kind of the middle middle I've definitely got space. So, yeah, I'm pretty pumped with this. There's the, uh, there's the vent up here. Um, and it looks like that's it. But obviously on a day like today, day like today, I'm inside, so what does it even matter? But yeah, this is, uh, this is my tent, this is my video, and I'm gonna see if I'm gonna add any bits onto this later. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon.